And now we would like to gladly welcome to the stage Da Luna Ensemble with a joint concert with the Atlantic Reed Consort. Enjoy.
Good evening. Good evening. How are you? <laughs> We're very happy today to, to, to be with you and to be able to share with you our uh, music and uh, story and uh, to share with our colleague and friend uh, Jeremy and his quintet uh, this uh, small experience of uh, exchanging some uh, uh, sounds and uh, uh, musicality together. I met uh, Ramzi about two years ago. I was uh, visiting Palestine. Uh, I got a last minute call to play in an orchestra. And they, they said, can you come over? And I said, why not? Let's check it out. And I flew over and had the most magical, wonderful time there. And I met Ramzi and had the extraordinary work that he's doing. Um, if you don't know anything about him, his story is told in Sandy Tolan's book. Um, what is the name of it? Children of the Stone. Children of the Children Stone. Children of the Stone. It's a yeah. fascinating book, and I highly recommend that you check it out. Um, but we started talking over the last couple of years about bringing our ensembles together, and he contacted me about a year ago and said that you are touring the United States. And I said, this is a wonderful opportunity for us to try to put something together and, and explore the combination of, of uh, traditional instruments and our reed quintet. Yes, and t t tonight we will present some of this... Uh, uh, music that I have, uh, some traditional and some composition that I worked uh, with a friend uh, and musician from Belgium, Elwa Boudimou, and that we readjust uh, and arranged with uh, Jean, who helped us to put it together for the quintet. Uh, I hope you enjoy it and will uh, present the pieces uh, one by one. We will start with the Billadi Askara, which is a Mwashah from Andalusian time that we uh, rearrange it and add a part from uh, with my friend Elwa called uh, La Bougainvillier in French, which is in Arabic, the crazy flower, Majnuna. <laughs> Great, hope you enjoy it, thank you.
أين ذبا لو شيئا أو كما هجم الصبح رجوما غرق الشهد بلا ربما أثرت في العيون النرجس Thank you. Uh, now we'll play a piece named Baghdad, like Baghdad, the city.
Thank you. This piece was like in homage to Baghdad city. Now uh, we'll perform another piece in homage to Andalusi Andalusia, the Andalusian time and how people could live all together.
Thank you. Edwin Bugar on the accordion. We'll go on with another piece I composed uh, named Bahar. Bahar in Arabic means the sea. And as many of you uh, might I mean, know that in Palestine we are very lucky to be surrounded by three sea. We have the Mediterranean, the Dead Sea, and the Red Sea. But uh, unluckily, uh, we don't have any access to neither of these three sea. And I, I am uh, with many of uh, uh, young and children, Palestinian, Palestinian children, never had the chance to go and see the sea, actually, because of the occupation, for sure. And the, the piece, it was a way uh, of uh, imagining the sea through the sound, or travel to the sea via the sound.
Thank you. We'll go on uh, with another piece named Rahil in Arabic, which means exile.
Thank you, Tarek Rantisi on the percussion. And I will, uh, would like to, to introduce Ziad bin Youssef on the Oud before we finish. And we'll let you, Jeremy, introduce your one fantastic. So the Atlantic Reed Consort is Brooke Emery on clarinet, myself, Jeremy Koch on saxophone, Emily Foster on oboe. Eddie Sanders on bassoon. And finally, John Romano, a ranger and bass clarinet. I would like also to thank our coordinator who helped us to make this happen, Estelle Dalou, who's in the, in the hall. She's, she's not on the stage, but she make it happen and help us to do this. Yeah. Thank you, Estelle. Bravo. We'd like to thank the Kennedy Center for hosting us today. They've been a fantastic uh, set of musicians and uh, staff that have really helped us out and been generous with their time and allowing us to play here. Uh, we are going to be doing another performance tomorrow at Westmoreland Congregational UCC in Bethesda, Maryland. We're going to be doing a completely different set of music, and we'll also have vocalists. Which yes, uh, Marianne Layous, Palestinian singer, will join us tomorrow for a beautiful program from the Arab world. So the performance will be tomorrow at 5 p.m. Westmoreland Congregational UCC in Bethesda, and I hope you can join us. And uh, thank you all so much for coming, and we'd love to say hello to you. We're going to join you. We also have, I believe you have CDs for sale. Is that correct? Yeah, we have some CDs if you like the music. Uh, everybody's hearing, even behind. Yes? Just 
Yeah, yeah, just tomorrow at five in Bethesda. At yeah, Bethesda, yes. Maryland. I will, we will end with a piece uh, called, uh, named Sudfa, and I have my friend uh, Elwa Boudimo who uh, completed with uh, another uh, part, uh, common course, like a, a tra uh, so as, a as a race, yes, like. And this speak about my, uh, actually my childhood when I was little, like uh, eight years old. I don't know how many of you uh, saw my, my picture, uh, but if you, did, if you don't know it, then just Google my, my first name and last name, and then you would have a picture of me playing the violin, and uh, the viola, but you would, you would find near a small boy throwing stone, eight years old, with a red jacket. This is me in the first intifada, in the Al-Amari refugee camp where I grew up. And this piece actually speak about me throwing stone, and running, uh, uh, running to save my life, you know, from the soldier at that time. You know, when, when, when we started throwing stone in, in the first intifada, throwing stone, uh, for us as children, we didn't have any like political thinking. It was just uh, uh, as in a camp, you know, our house is very little, very small. Uh, our playground is the street. And when the jeep arrived and the soldier, we just, took this stone and started the first intifada to protect our playground, you know, before later on understand the whole political uh, situation and the occupation. Uh, you will see in this uh, piece, and you will hear in this piece, there's not too much time to breathe. You have to run to save your life. Sorry for the, for the wind, it's a little bit... <laughs> they, have to, they, they have to breathe, I know. And <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Thank you.
Thank you for joining us at Millennium Stage. As we prepare for another performance, we ask that you help us by heading towards the back of the seating area so we can safely put away our chairs. If you would like to meet with the artists, they'll be meeting at the back at the merchandise table. Thank you, and we hope you enjoy the rest of your evening at the Kendi Center. <laughs>